Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. and in this video I'm going to show you how to add more of the tourist map to the beginner areas of your Daisy community server for Xbox or PC or, or PlayStation. Now the reason for this, um, and the reason why I wanted to do this, was because with update 1.19 we got the ability to have um, an interactive map available on uh, community servers. Uh, custom servers whereby you didn't need to have the map the GPS receiver or the compass in Your inventory to be able to access it and I thought and I still think this is one of the biggest changes to Daisy That we've had since the introduction of community servers Honestly, it's fantastic because what you can do is you can bring up a map just like this um, and it shows you exactly where you are on the map and it shows you the direction you are facing and this is so good for new players I mean I guess existing players well but if you're new to DayZ the ability to be able to look at a map it just changes everything because when you spawn at the coast on Chernerush you're like oh my god where do I go what you do at the moment is you, know, you can just play it by ear or you can go to iSurvive on your phone or, or your website or on um, your internet browser you know but it kind of breaks the immersion doesn't it but just being able to bring up the map however <laughs> the problem was that the devs as of um the beginning of november 2022 haven't added a controller um key binding for this so on pc all you do is press m and it brings up the map um on on console on playstation xbox you need to plug a keyboard in because they haven't added it to the Xbox or the PlayStation controller, which is crazy, and really annoyed me, to be honest. I'm going to say it's really annoyed me. They have responded, though, and they have said that they're looking into it, so hopefully they will. So then I thought, well, how can we get around this? And I thought, well, one of the easiest ways is just to add lots of the tourist maps. Let's go into my inventory so you can see it. Have I got one? No, I haven't got one. we'll look at one in a minute. Um, lots of the tourist maps to the beginning areas. So players would find it easier to find one because once you've got one you can then just look at it now in case you're wondering what these settings are um, if you've got a community server for PC PlayStation or Xbox all you do is you go into the CFG gameplay.json which must be activated in your general settings and right down the bottom there's this bit map data and as you can see we've got ignore map ownership one ignore nav items one display position one display nav info so the first bit ignore map ownership mean, means that on this server doesn't matter if you haven't got the map you can still look at it and ignore nav items means well if they haven't got the gps, GPS receiver or the compass doesn't matter will still have their coordinates on the map and display position player position means put that little red dot in the middle with the direction and display nav info is the coordinates in the bottom left hand corner so again this remember this isn't for this isn't going to appear on um uh public servers like this on public servers when you find the map and you find the gps receiver and the compass all you'll see in the bottom left hand corner it gives you the details but you don't get that red dot appear on the map okay so but as i say the problem with console was you couldn't access this because there was no controller uh, command for it so you know my answer is well let's add some more so for example here we're on Livonia as you can see we're near the coast well oh, sorry near the coast we're near the river because in Livonia you tend to spawn along the river area don't you um, so if we come out of this so we see if we go in here we'll see that we've got the tourist map so there's the tourist map so let's put that away there's the tourist map um, we can look at it and then we can click and we can view as you can see it tells us there we are so that's that's what i want to see by the way just ignore you can see all the you can see all the loot around me can't you this is because this is on my local server um and one of the beauties of working with the lo local server when you're working on things like this you can use uh, mods like vanilla plus plus to use esp tools um, and this is how i check to see if things are spawning incorrectly and specific things really really useful so how do we do this so how do we make more of these spawn in so the files we're interested in are the types.xml files um, now you will find these on your server let's go over to a server let's go to this playstation server on nitrado if you log into the web interface and then you go to the file browser and you go into the missions folder now if it's a churnerous fault um, server it will say date daisy uh, offline Chernerus Plus, and and if it's an Enoch one, it'll have Chernerus and 
sorry, if it's a Livonia one, it'll say Chernerus and Enoch. Enoch was the code name for Livonia. So go into the particular mission that it is that your server runs. Go into the DB directory. And you can edit this um, on the web browser if you like, or the best thing to do is to download the types the XML. Keep a copy of it in your download section on your computer. Copy a bit of it to a working folder and then open it in your favorite text editor. That way you've got a backup. So if something goes wrong, you can always um, you can always go back to it. So uh, let's talk about Livonia first. So for example, for Livonia, this is the vanilla settings for the for the map. Now, what's odd? Now, if I'm wrong about this, please let me know. <laughs> but on Livonia, the, the the map that you use is still called the Chernerus map, even though on that particular map it's actually the Livonia one when you open it up. Um, and the, it, there's normally 40 of them will spawn on the map and they'll start respawning when they go down to 20. It's classed as a tool, its tag name is shelves, and it spawns in village locations and hunting locations. Okay, so what I'll also do in the description below this video is I'll link to this rather handy site on daisy.fandom.com that explains the different tags and what they mean. And also, I'll link to this, which is a list of the buildings, because what we're going to do is we're going to change some of these settings. So what I've done, so for Livonia, for example, what I did was I added, um, so it was village and hunting, and I added the tags of coast, town, and police. Now, coast on Livonia, and I'm pretty sure about it, means along the river. Okay. So those little boats you'll find along the river. And if there's any, um, I guess, boat houses along the river, chances are things will spawn there. And again, if you look at this particular um, list of buildings, it kind of shows you kind of coast-type things. Um, and then I've also added um, town and police. Um, but in order to populate all this stuff, I've changed the nominal to 150 and the minimum to 140 so there's an awful lot of these little maps going to spawn in now what you might find is it this is quite a lot to start off with so if you, when your server has a fresh wipe for example and uh, people are wandering around as newbies and they want to find a map this will make it very easy to find them but as the server goes into its lifetime you may want to reduce this down so the maps aren't filling up precious slots on your server so we've changed the nominal to 150 and we've changed the minimum to 150 as well and we've got rid of the tag name shelves i've done that basically i want to give more places for the um the maps to spawn and the reason why we've added obviously coast because coast is is where beginners are um, where fresh spawns are village is pretty obvious hunting kind of ma it, that's where they should spawn anyway and town means the larger places on livonian shows but I, I wanted to add it add police because um, the police station in the larger uh, villages and towns is, is an obvious place to find. It, it sticks out like a sore thumb, you know, because it has that round thing on the top. Um, so I, I figure if you're pretty new to Daisy and you go into a town, so you go into like Chernogorsk or um, Electro or Severogad or something, you're probably going to be able to find the police station. And then if you find there, then, you know, there's a good chance you'll find a map inside. And then so all you need to do is you just need to edit your type file for Chernerus map to look like that. So what I would do, for example, on my server here, I could click on types.xml. Now it's quite a big file. That's why this doesn't always work in the browser. And then we'd do a search and we would search for Chernerus uh, M. There we go. So there's Chernerus map just there. And if we go back into my text editor. Now, what I did for, because we're looking at Chernerus here, what I did for Chernerus was, again, I, I um, dis, uh, remarked out the shelves. So if you ever want to remove some code from a uh, an XML file in DayZ, and you don't want the game to read that code, but you want the code to stay there, you can put remark tags around it. Um, and that's why this is green. So you go um, left angle bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, um, before the code, and then afterwards you go dash, dash, right arrow bracket. And that will then leave the code there, but the game won't run it. So what we did here for Chernerus is Chernerus is normally hunting an office. That's where you'll find the, the, the maps. So what I did was I added coast. So, I mean, on Chernerus, you spawn on the coast, don't you? So that will be at, like the little boats and the boat houses. Village. 
because again you, you tend to come across villages first when you're a new spawn towns so actually they would spawn in the towns and again the police station so it's that obvious place where people could find a police station and because our nominal is 150 and our min is 140 you know there's a good chance that you're going to find um, a map there so what we'll do we will just copy that there and we'll just go over here not generous map open don't do anything with that one and then we'll just paste that in there we go so that's commented out that tag hunting office coast village town and police and then we would save that and then if you restart the server that would then make the um that change take effect now if you're editing it locally on your local pc you would save it here and then you would if we go down to the bottom and we just come out of here whoops so we go back into the db folder and you'll see here we'll have upload so you would upload your edited file over the top of the types that xml and restart the server now one thing i highly recommend you do when you do any editing if you go to a site called xmlvalidation.com and i'll put a link in the description of this video you can check and validate your file that you haven't made any mistakes because it's very easy when you're copying and pasting and typing within these files to kind of delete a bracket like that or have too many brackets and that will cause the file the um the, uh, the, the the file to fail and what you want to do not to work so there we go so so that's how we how we've kind of increased it and I, to be honest i did try i tried a number of different things i was going to use a proxy and i was going to add the map to for example every single water pump um, in the game so that when you went up to water there would always be a map there and then i thought well, wait a minute the maps are made of paper aren't they they wouldn't survive in that situation it kind of break immersion a bit then i thought well i'll add them to maybe the workbenches the yeah uh, sorry the tourist benches but i think but they're not at the coast and then i thought oh okay why don't i just create a uh, custom json or just add maps using a custom json at all sort of you know in every single town or and village along the coast and I thought, uh, it's not very daisy though is it i think if you can always go to the same place and you know something is going to be there guaranteed that's not really daisy is it because we don't really have that in daisy all of the loot is randomly placed the events are all randomly placed isn't it i can't really think of anything that is always in the same place then i thought well let's go back to the good old faithful of the types that xml and let's just increase the number of maps that will spawn and increase the places that they will spawn at so that so your new player has still got the challenge of finding a map because you know they're going to be in random places but there's going to be more of them and it's going to give them more of a chance to to have this uh, this wonderful tool on your community server um, because obviously if you haven't activated the settings in cfg gameplay json and activated your cfg gameplay json in your uh, general settings then obviously it won't work but i don't know I, I just love the fact that when you've activated this you know players in fact tell you what let's just um let's just turn off esp tools let's turn that off there we go that players can just hit m imagine being a new player i mean it's, i think it's difficult for us players who have been playing the game for a long time to 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 remember how difficult and frustrating it was when we first start playing first started playing daisy and you didn't know where we were and sure we can look back we kind of rose tinted glasses and go oh yeah yeah, then we had to find out, you know, about the I Survive map, and then we had to treat, try and read map names in Russian. Oh, and then, then you know, we learnt to navigate by the stars or which way the clouds were going. You know, or we followed power lines. You know, all this, or we, you know, we always made sure we we went uphill. And you think, oh yeah, yeah, that was, you know, that was the real challenge. But what you forget is that probably eighty percent of the people who start Daisy, because of that challenge, they never bother playing it again, and they don't discover all the wonderful things after that, like player interactions and exploring and surviving, and all that wonderful stuff. The reason why we love Daisy because they fall at one of the first hurdles of just where the hell am I and where do I go? So, <laughs> so there we go, peeps. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, obviously subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon.